Hello everyone, it's me ASMR if welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the process of editing. So I got a photographer from the Unsplash.com and I'll edit that photo uh, for the color grading. So I'm downloading this uh, one uh, for your uh, practice purpose and I'll provide you the download link in my video description. So this photo I'll take and uh, I'll show you the whole process how to edit all the stuffs uh, accordingly. So I'm just opening this image into Photoshop going to the open with the options and the Photoshop 2021 press Ctrl or command J it will make another copy of this layer I'm turning uh, the brightness up just because of it will help me out to make the photo properly into the color grading and after that going to these zoom options uh, here no spot in a face uh, directly i'm going to the filter and camera filter so this one is another plugins from uh, 2014 uh, creative cloud or 17 creative cloud and you're getting like that so here all the panels and stops are over here and uh, here all the panels from the basic to um, like uh, everything here i'll add some shadow a little bit yeah that's good and i'll make the highlight down that's fine i'll make it a little bit the cool tone that's fine from the curves options i'll go to the tone curve and making this one like that yeah that's fine and i'm going to the color grading options from color grading you are getting the color into the shadow mid tone and highlights in the shadow portion here is the hue hue means which color will be in a shadow so adding some saturation that means the percentage of the color and slightly just making this one which color in a shadow it will define with the shadow portion and this uh, slide bar uh, is uh, showing you what color will be into your photo and now in the mid tone adding some saturation and adding some mid tone here so that's fine and the highlight in a highlight portion which color will be here so in the shadow portion i'll change the shadow color i think this is nice and going to the primary color calibration here is the red primary green primary and blue primary red primary if i take this one like that it will change the color and uh, the saturation over here hue means which color will be and saturation percentage of the color the green portion i'll change it into this okay and the hue portion of the blue primary i'll change the blue color into this and the saturation will be like that okay that's fine into color mixture you are getting all the colors hue saturation luminance hue means which color will be saturation percentage of the color and luminance intensity of the color wait i'll increase a little bit and the uh, orange and yellow those three colors are in a phase and the green color i'll increase the uh, green luminance and the aqua as well and the blue everything here uh, blue could be a little bit down and here the saturation blue i'll increase and i'll making it a little bit the aqua up that's fine let's see the before one and after one uh, you are getting the color in the, in the photos and now i'll go to the tone curve again and going to the red tone curve i'll change the red types like that yeah the natural color in a face and here as well so that's good not too much in this portion here itself telling you uh, the, in the downside you are getting the warm color and upper side you are getting the cool color that means blue in upper side and uh, yellow in the downside uh, in this portion you are getting uh, the green upper side and magenta in the downside red upper side and aqua uh, in a downside let's see the before and after huge change now i'll change the shadow color going to the color grading again and the shadow color we could change into the dynamic type any kind of colors so it could be so yeah let's see the before one and after one hues change over here and now going to the effects uh, here is some vignetting adding some vignetting minus uh, eight or seven that's good and before and after i'm saving these settings for you guys and saving it out giving the name of uh, these one 
like park warm and then hit the ok button so before one and after one now i'll go to the filter again going to the nick collection and color effects pro 4 this one is another plugins for using the bunch of presets and uh, everything so from here you are getting the cross processing options over here and lots of sub method in this portion which one is perfect for your photography you have to use that and from this portion i will find out one of them in this case so i am using this one or this one this one yeah i am using l05 and turning here the strength a little bit down and hit ok it will take couple of seconds to load it up and providing the final output in this portion i'll make the opacity 67 percent and let's see the before one and after one huge change over here and from this portion i'm going to the curves again and in this panel i'll adding some curve like that lock over here and this portion and then i'll take another uh, blank layer and going to the brush tool so from here uh, taking the soft brush the first one brush and uh, opacity and flow 100 percent select once press ctrl or command t i'll expand this out so here Press Ctrl or Command T and placing this one like this. Not too much, just a little bit. That's fine. And this one, I'll go to the filter again and going to the blur option and making it the Gaussian blur. The band will remove and hit OK. And after that, going to the levels options from here. I'll changing the levels light levels it will help me out to do that and after that going to the adjustment layer and going to the photo filter little bit warm type photo filter over here okay let's see the before one ordinary image and after one you are getting the image which is really cool and uh, dynamic type all the colors all the stuffs are um, prominent and everything is uh, amazing so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i may say when i'm signing out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers Bye bye